Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 89 with me Craig Barton. Now usually on the Resource of the Week I like to look out for hidden gems. In other words I like to find resources that I think are absolutely amazing but haven't been downloaded enough times in my opinion because I want to try and flag those up. But this week is a bit of an exception to that rule because this resource has been downloaded at the time of recording over 27,000 times, which is loads. But the reason I'm featuring it as this week's resource of the week is I don't think that's been downloaded enough. This needs to be in the hundreds and even the millions of downloads because this resource is wonderful and it's not just suitable for A-level teachers, as I'll talk about in a second. So what is this resource? Well, there are 10 PDF files. And they are A-level maths assessments covering pretty much every single module that you could ever imagine. Um, I'll fire a couple of these up just to show you what I'm looking, at, uh, what I'm talking about. So here are the ones for core one and core two. So we open up with a classic bit of coordinate geometry and some really, really lovely questions there. And if I just scroll to the end of those, you also get some lovely mark schemes showing exactly where all the marks are allocated. And they've got these for every single A-level module. So if I just show you as well, let's click on a bit of S1, lovely bit of statistics, bit of a tuck shop earnings there. And again, it just goes through. So that's all about modeling. And as we scroll down, what's that one there? Representing and analyzing data and so on and so forth. So fine, but really nice assessments, but how are we gonna use these in the classroom? Well, firstly, at its most basic level, We've started using these for homeworks because I don't know about you, but we find it quite hard to find decent um, A-level questions. Um, one option is to use past exam papers to kind of build homeworks, whether it be through exam pro or something like that. But of course, you don't really want the students seeing the same questions again and again and again. Uh, your other option is a textbook, but I don't know about you, but some of our textbook questions are a little bit on the ropey side. Um, and then the other option is trying to build your own or take them from another exam board or something like that. And it's just a bit of a hassle. Whereas these are really nice kind of self-contained um, assessments, which are absolutely ideal for homework activities or for end of topic assessments. So we use them for that. Now with A-Level, you've got to be careful about the board um, and just checking that um, the questions are suitable for your specification. Uh, we use AQA for our A-Level, and I have to say the crossover between uh, these um, and the AQA is pretty much 100%. Every now and again, we have to say to the kids, just leave out a question, but that's very, very rare. Um, but they're absolutely perfect for that. But there's another use for these that I really like, as well as homeworks and end-topic assessments. And that's actually, we've started using some of these with our uh, Year 10 students and also our Year 11 students, because there's a tremendous amount of crossover between Core 1 particularly and higher level GCSE. And that's true for the current specification, but it's also very, very true for the new specification. So, for example, uh, coordinate geometry, there's loads of that stuff going on in the new spec for the GCSE with straight lines taking a, um, a bit of a, an increased uh, depth of testing. But also you've got brand new topics such as function notation, quadratic inequalities. Um, so why not dip in if you're looking for sources for, for, to test those? Why not dip into the core one and core two um, assessments for that? Look, quadratic functions here, completing the square and knowing that that gives the minimum point of the graph. That's new spec GCSE now. Um, so if you're short of questions for that, because you won't find any in current spec GCSE textbooks, then this might be a nice source of questions for you. And it's also good because it, you can tell, say to the students, this this is A level stuff here, and it gives them a little bit of a, an incentive. There you go here, some inequalities, quadratic inequalities. Qualities. That is classic new spec GCSE, that question for there, and that's ready to be used. Simultaneous equations, one linear and one uh, quadratic, that's current spec GCSE for higher and also new spec GCSE. So loads of sources for questions there, and of course you've got the mark schemes to really emphasise to the students the importance of setting the work out, um, the method marks, the answer marks, and so on. So a wonderful resource, and I, the re, as I say, the reason I featured this is because I didn't want people who don't teach A-level being put off downloading it, because it's absolutely wonderful stuff. And it's also good if you've got students who are absolutely nailing GCSE and you want to give them a bit of extension work, just give them a core one, one of those assessments. As long as calculus isn't in the mix, then they should be able to do most of core one. And it'll just give them a little taste of taste of what A level and um, what delights they've got to come over the next few years. So there it is. There's resource of the week. I um, hope you use it. Hope you find it useful. That's from Oxford Secondary. Sorry, I should have said at the start. And I'll be back with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.